what is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's episode i'm going to show you how to defeat the magma demon as a low power alliance the magma demon is the toughest behemoth in the whole game and you have to be very careful when you fight these creatures in this episode i'm going to show you some tips and tricks to use if your alliance has very low power make sure that you subscribe for more content turn on the bell notification and never miss out like the video share it with your friends leave some comments down below let's go slap some magmas Before we get into the strategy, let me show you guys the simple mechanics of the magma demons. Each demon is enclosed inside a circle. The magma demons will put a stack on players every 18 seconds. When the number of stacks reaches 5, stack number 6 is gonna kill you instantly. You have to switch circles after 3 stacks so that you stay alive. The more stacks that you have, the more damage you are gonna take. Don't wait for the stacks to reach 4 or 5. Switch immediately after 3. Go to the next circle. Every time you are switching circles, you should pay attention. Some of the circles here overlap and you can take damage from two demons. Like when you're switching from one circle to the next, pay attention to these overlapping zones. If you get caught in between, you're gonna take a stack from two demons. That is something to watch out. Every single time when you fight the magma demon, you should always be inside the circle in order to do damage to that demon. If you try to attack from outside the circle, you're not going to be doing a lot of damage. This is something that is common with magic units. Therefore, if you're using magic, move inside the circle and then attack. Make sure you're inside to do more damage. When you fight the magma demons, there should be at least one person in all the four circles. Let's say for example, there is nobody in one circle, that demon is gonna put its stack on all the players inside the lair, and that's not gonna be good for you. And guys, remember, the stacks disappear after 90 seconds. Therefore, if you pick up three stacks from one demon, switch to the next circle and keep rotating just like that until you defeat them all. Your alliance should take advantage of the safe zone in the middle right here. Now when there are people in all the four circles, this zone is gonna be safe. You should put your spare infantry tanks here. Everybody stays here just so that they can cool off and then continue the fight. Make sure you take advantage of the safe zone. Let us talk about the strategy that you can use as a low power alliance to defeat the magma demons. You are allowed 60 players inside the lair and you have to divide yourself into groups. This is how you should do it. You should have 8 infantry and 52 archers. You should divide yourselves equally among 4 circles. You're gonna have 1 infantry, 13 archers, 1 infantry, 13 archers, 1 infantry, 13 archers, 1 infantry, 13 archers. Do not bring magic units if you are a low power alliance. You need all the damage you can get. You can only get that by using archer units. Another good thing with archer units is that they will always move inside the circle to attack, which is very good for you. Now when you fight the magma demons, if you defeat one, the other three will get stronger. If you defeat two, the other two will get stronger, making it difficult for you guys to take them down. This is why you have to fight in groups divide yourself into four groups and try to bring all the hp down together this is gonna be helpful for low power alliances switch circles as a team after three stacks keep moving keep rotating just bring the health point down you guys will be able to win let me tell you guys some simple tricks that you can use when you fight these demons let's say you are in here and your health point is below 30 percent you don't have to go to the next circle. Come to the safe zone where it's safe. Look for a healing stone, go there, heal yourself, and then go back and fight. Remember, you guys have 10 minutes to kill this demon. The longer you last, the better. Try not to go for damage ranking. It's gonna be your downfall. You should be able to last long. You will have one infantry, 13 archers. The other four infantry will wait in the safe zone if one infantry is about to die, you go and you swap them. The infantry that have been switched should also look for a healing stone to heal themselves 
and then come back to the center and wait. Remember guys, you have 10 minutes to defeat these creatures. Forget about damage ranking and focus on lasting long. Pay attention to this overlapping zone. Here are some safe zones that you can stay and protect yourself. If you have low health, always come to the center, look for a healing stone, go and heal yourself. Now I'm going to show you the strategy that I just explained. My alliance tried it. We only had 50 players. We did a test run. You guys are going to see how it will work. Unfortunately, I was asleep when my alliance recorded the successful version. Now watch as much as you can. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Until then, talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.